Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install Fabric on a Minecraft server. If you own a Bisect Hosting Premium Minecraft server, this can be done through the JAR menu, which we will first go over, but we can also show you how to do it manually if you are running a budget Minecraft server. To install Fabric through our JAR menu, we're going to go ahead and log into our Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our Minecraft server. Next, we're going to choose the Stop button to stop the server. We are then going to go to the Minecraft Jar tab and we're going to select Fabric on the left and then we're going to choose the desired Fabric version we would like to install and select the Install button. We will then hit the green Install button and then we will choose what we would like to do with the existing server files. We can either save the current files into an instance and come back to it any time and just create a separate one. We can keep the current files and update the jar if we're already running an older version of Fabric or we can just delete all the files and replace with a new install, which is what we will do in this tutorial. We'll then select the next button. Then we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and you'll have installed Fabric on your Minecraft server using the jar menu. We will now go over how to install Fabric on a Minecraft server manually. First, we're gonna download Fabric from the Fabric website that I'll have linked in the description. Then we're going to launch the Fabric installer and select the server tab. Once here, we're going to choose the Minecraft version we would like to install. Then we're going to change the location for the install to somewhere on our desktop. We're just going to choose a folder that we've created. Then we're going to choose install. From here, we're going to select the download server jar button. Once this is finished, we're going to choose done. We will then open that folder on our desktop. We will then right click the fabric server launch and then rename it. If you're running Minecraft 1.4 to 1.16, we're gonna name it custom.jar. If you're running Minecraft 1.17, we're gonna change it to custom Java 16. If you're running Minecraft 1.18 to 1.204, we're gonna change it to custom Java 17. And if you're running Minecraft 1.20.5 or newer, we're gonna change it to custom Java 21. Once that's been renamed, we're going to select all the files, then we're going to right click, hover send to, and select compressed zipped folder. We can now minimize this folder to use later, and we're going to log into our Bicep Toasting Games panel and choose our Minecraft server. Next, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the Minecraft jar tab, and we're going to scroll down on the left side and choose custom. And then we're going to click install next to the custom jar version that you renamed that jar to. So for our version, we chose custom Java 21 and we're going to hit install. Then we're going to hit the green install button. Then we need to choose what to do with our existing server files. We can either save the current files into an instance and create a new one, which will allow us to come back to the current instance if we'd like and have this as a complete new instance or we can keep the current files and update the jar if we're just updating to a newer version of Fabric, or we can delete all files and replace this with the new install, which is what we will choose for this tutorial. Then we will choose the next button. Once that's done, we're gonna to go to the files tab and we are going to upload that .zip file that we had earlier. So we're gonna reopen that folder and drag in that .zip folder. Then we're going to right click the .zip file and choose unarchive. Once that's unarchived, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have manually installed Fabric on our Minecraft server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.